Hi, I'm Kathleen Eakey. One of the most common requests I get from amateurs is how to fix their slice. So today I want to talk to you about the most common swing flaws I see that create a slice and also give you a drill that's going to, you can do on the range that's going to help you regardless of which one you do. So the first swing flaw that causes a slice that I see is when people get to the top and they come over the, what I call over the top. So that would be getting here and coming this way instead of dropping your right elbow in towards your side like this. So this is bad, this is good. The second thing I see people do, I guess I'll stay, stand here still, get up to the top and this happens when people probably get a little too quick, maybe get nervous and just want to get the shot over with. They start their lower body down before their upper half has a chance to set at the top and they get spun out. And this is going to cause a push slice which is going to go really far right. So today I just want to give you a drill that's going to help you with, with both. You take, go up to the top and feel like your back is going to stay to the target just a little bit longer which is going to help you get rid of that over the top motion and really drop the club in. The other thing you want to do is just take a swing and keep your right foot on the ground. This is going to help you get rid of that um, nasty spin out motion. So I'm going to hit this ball for you. I'm going to keep that right foot on the ground the whole time. And this is going to help promote a little right to left draw and it's going to be a nice ball flight and get rid of that ever so frustrating slice. And on this one, just make sure you keep her back towards the target just a little longer. So the next time you're struggling with the slice, I hope you can remember this drill to do on the range and you're going to hit it a lot straighter.